Today in this video I'll talk about the conditions. In this series I have explained what is Jira workflow and how to create a new workflow, how to edit the Jira workflow and in the last video I have covered the advanced topic of the Jira workflow that is trigger. If you haven't watched these videos here then please go and watch these videos. It will help you to clear the basics of the Jira workflow. I will mention the link in the description box so that you can simply find out the link of the tutorial and i have the another tutorial about the jira administrations if you are new or learning a jira then definitely it will help you to learn the jira administrations from the basic i have the other tutorials as well where you will get uh, information how you can create a uh, account for a uh, jira software or a confluence you can go and check because i didn't cover this particular topic in this Jira administration series. Now we'll come back to our today's videos. I'll cover the conditions and this will come under the advanced workflow. What are the conditions basically? Conditions will help you to control whether a transition should be executed by the user or not. For example, with the help of the conditions, you can check like it will allow only the like the conditions can be used allow only the reporter to execute a ex transition allow only users with a certain permissions to execute a transition and allow execution only if code has or has not been committed against this issue if a condition fail then definitely the user will not see the transition button on the view issue page and so it will not be able to execute that particular transition and this is an important topic like condition cannot validate the input parameters gathered from the users on the transition screen. If you want to validate, then you need to use a validator. I will cover what uh, what is the validator and how we can use it in our workflow in my coming video. But today I'll focus in the conditions. Now we will go and check how many conditions we have and how we can create our own conditions in the workflow. I have created a demo workflow in my previous videos. I'll use the same workflow in this video also. So this is a demo workflow and which is associated with my project development. I have done this in my previous video where I was explaining about how you can assign or how you can activate your workflow by assigning that workflow to the workflow scheme or a project. Now we'll go and click on the edit but you cannot edit it because right now it's in active state you have to create a draft and then you can edit that particular workflow you can see the jira already created a draft workflow now you are editing a draft workflow here now we'll go, go to the diagram and here i will put some condition but before putting a condition let's see what are the conditions basically i can click on any transition and then i will click on the conditions here it will open this page and here i want to put a condition from to do to in development and here we have options to add a condition when i will click on add condition here we have a lot of conditions like always false conditions and only assignee condition condition to allow only the assignee to execute a transition only reporter condition condition to allow only the reporter to execute a particular transition like permission condition user in group in custom field in any group any project and users in the project role we have the load of conditions here you can use as per your workflow requirements here in this video i will use this only assignee condition condition to allow only the assignee to execute a transition now i will click here and then i will click on the add here we have the one condition only the assignee of the issue can execute this transition you can edit it and if you want you can delete these conditions too if you want to add more condition you can simply click on this add condition and add the condition as much as you want we have a drop down here like all of the following condition or any of the following condition it means you want to apply any of the following condition or you want to apply all of the following conditions to your workflow it's up to you you can do as per your requirement now we will click on the publish draft and it is asking to save a backup copy no i don't want to save and then i will click on publish 
the draft workflow is now active now i will go to my development project here i will click and then i will open the development project this is my development project and here you can see i have a dev 175 issue and here there is a no assignee this is unassigned when i will click here then it will show me you don't have a permission to transition this issue because we put a condition only the assignee can transition the issue so here uh, when i will come to the another issue let's suppose this is a dev 180 and i am a assignee for that particular issue here you can see now i will click on this drop down and i have a option to transition between one status to the another status like in development to to do and the qa this is how the condition works you can put the condition as per your requirement in your workflow that's all for this video about the conditions in your workflow we'll meet in the next video where i'll explain about the validators if you haven't subscribed my channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification about my videos if you like this video then please hit the like and share this video so that others also can learn about the jira cloud workflow thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead